Hello everybody, uh, my name is Henry Miller, I'm uh, aka uh, Crazy Bear. Uh, today I want to uh, go over a modification that I uh, made to my Polaris ATV. Normally when I'm riding alone, uh, it's not uh, that big of a deal. Uh, I, I, I have a, uh, um, a, a cargo bag that I just strap on and, and uh, off I go. Well, uh, lately I've been trying to get my wife uh, more involved in riding the ATV, but uh, I've come across a problem with the uh, back uh, rest of the Polaris is so close to the tie-down rack that I can't take my bag. So I just take a uh, hunting backpack and just strap it to the side. Uh, what I want to show you is how I resolved this problem. Uh, I created a, a rack extension so that I could put my bag on there as well as put my lawn chair, this folding table, and her lawn chair on that rack as well. Uh, I hope that the, this uh, this uh, not so much of an invention but a modification will work for you as it is working for me. I want to thank you and um, don't forget to subscribe and um, happy adventures. This is my Polaris Touring ATV. I have a uh, back seat with a backrest on it great for uh, for riding uh, uh, taking my wife with me uh, the uh, the only the only drawback uh, with this uh, backrest is it takes up a good chunk of uh, deck space and uh, I, I I cannot tie my cargo bag onto the tie down rack because the dimension from the tie down rack to the bottom or the back of the seat is too narrow my bag is over here so i've been looking for uh extension racks so that I could t uh, strap my my bag, my cargo bag, uh, onto the back of my seat, but I cannot find anything on the internet. So I decided to go ahead and uh, build one myself. I don't have any dimensions on it. Uh, it's all based on uh, setting the uh, ends so that my bag fits on it um, the material that I used is all uh, used um, uh, material that I've collected from different yard projects that I had I built a chain link fence uh, many years ago actually and I've had some excess um, top rail or top um, bar chain link fence rail and basically that's what I'm using here today my chain link top rail is connected to the tie down with u-bolts and these u-bolts are connected to the tie down ramp from a plate that I took from another ATV that was that had a uh, a hunting bow rack on it, and the bottom or the attachment rack had this plate on it, so I just swiped that from it, and I'm using it here. It's got a groove in it, and it's plenty long, and it's got great compression on it. It will not move back and forth. This rubber uh, uh, end here I found a bucket of uh, kitchen table or kitchen chair feet 
rubber stoppers you know and when your when your chair wears out you put new ones on there well that's what these are their their chair replacements for um, so what I did was I, I just found a couple that fit right inside and served my purpose but plus it looks good these are T assemblies they're used uh, for dog kennels dog runs and um, I have a bolt that goes down that came with the uh, uh, the hardware and uh, this pipe goes right up to the the bolt and then I drilled a hole through the T assembly through the pipe and I connected it with a nut on the end all assembly is for the uh, T assemblies are the same this is my frame this here is my connection uh, this is a uh, chain link gate uh, hardware for building uh, a gate and it worked perfectly for what I'm after my bag will come to about here and the majority of the weight will be sitting on my rail and sitting on the uh, tie down rack the rest of this will be used for something else and I'll show you that a little later here I've got the rack on um, I was able to utilize the uh, rack for two different purposes one for my bag and its weight distribution over the actual tie down rack and then I've got a little space here that's going to allow me to put my lawn chair, my wife's lawn chair, and I have a folding table, an ATV table that goes on there. My use, my intentions are when I'm riding alone, I will take this seat off. There's only four bolts, four and take the seat off and I'll set my bag right on the deck this won't this won't be there this will just these these four bolts will come out well there's two anchors four bolts here and the same on the other side so the, these will come out because this bag will sit right on the deck with this back rest gone On this one here, the bag has a metal frame that goes along the, the bottom and the sides. And I have set it so that the bag and its adjustments would not move or fall down. And also what I've done is I've put a piece of plywood, quarter inch plywood, on the bottom that is sitting on that metal frame so that the weight in the bag doesn't puncture through the bottom of the canvas. So on the inside of the bag, I added a piece of quarter inch plywood so that it would give the bottom of the bag the stability to keep anything that's heavy from punching a hole out and uh, causing a problem. Uh, here we are with the um, lawn chairs and the table lashed down to the uh, rack extension. I've got my cargo bag lashed down to the uh, cargo uh, tie-down extension. Um, I'm using these 
tie downs that have no hooks on them they're just uh, open-ended on both sides and I like those because uh, I can thread them around like a like a rope but use the the cinch har or the 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 harness as a cinch down um, I've on the left hand side this here and here where the where the buckles are goes around the table and the chairs and connects to the the ATV the extension um, rack extension then it comes up here and goes through the backside and goes down to the center bar frame construction and then back up and then it's tied back down to the ATV tie down. What that does is it allows you to the buckles tie the bundle together and then the excess goes over down and under let me see if i can get this you can see the it goes down and then it comes back up so what that does is it allows the the bundle to ride up against the bag instead of flopping away wanting to move away and it also gives you access to your bag there's no there's no restrictions with tie downs over the bag you can get in um, to either side but Keep in mind that your bag is up against the, the latches. But it gives you access to your bag on both sides. And I think this is going to work for me. I just wanted to share my little modification um, I'm able to now I am able to carry a passenger in my seat by back seat and um, carry my lunch and water and whatever I need to carry in my cargo bag and I have latched on to the extension my lawn chairs and my folding chairs so I've accomplished um, everything that I wanted this cargo extension to do you know it it's what I exactly what I want so I'm a happy camper I just want to uh, thank everybody and uh, happy adventures <laughs>